you know, when one starts to learn dance, one learns it as a style. Um, because that's how your gurus teach you. And um, you sort of, it, it, it remains confined in the mind as a style. But I think when you live with it long enough, and when you internalize it, I think um, the style falls away and it becomes a language. And then when you do another 10, 15 years with it, you find that the language is actually structured in and yet gives you the freedom to say what you want. Gurus did tell us always, you walk into the space, it's your temple, leave your problems at the door. They were not interested in, you know, why I was late and I have this problem and mm. of today's busy lifestyles. When you came there, as you said, your sanctuary, it was you over there and the world was outside and you had to give it your 100 and 200 percent. Kathak, I would like to say that Kathak starting from the temple, like other Indian classical dancers, and mainly I would say in the temples of Vrindavan and Mathura. These were the places, and by which later on, this was only Indian classical dance, which was later on taken by the Mughals to the Mughal court, and it became a court dance for, for a little while. And until and unless the Nawab Wajid Ali Shah came, and then he himself got so influenced by Ras Leela that he used to become Krishna himself and would create Ras or Rahasya, as one would say. Can you do a little bit of the Navaras to show us how the yeah, eyes sure, are Yeah, surely I can. Yeah. The Sringara I can show you now. Sringara, no, half here you want? Mm -hmm. Karuna. really beautiful. Every muscle of your body is moving. But, uh, you know, I was 28 years old when I saw dance for the first time. And um, it, did, it did something to me. It was like a call, which I couldn't refuse. And uh, the next day, I packed my bags, left my husband and two children, and flew off to the Guru's uh, village and lived there. And I really worked 18 hours a day for the first uh, couple of months. Our institution, or probably both of us, have the same feeling of openness for everything, to take good thing in every um, style of dancing or any tradition. For instance, even in one of our own productions, the traditional productions, I have used um, um, uh, a new method of um, technique. I can't call it modern, but it's just expressing through the body movements, not using any of the gestures or a, facial expression, but just body movement or uh, 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 showing seasons. And for that, uh, we have adopted a song, uh, music Bolero. from the Bolero, you know, Italian. Bravo. 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 Use, and it's like, show me a little of... Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, movement, it's movement. like I when I see uh, the summer, you see the fatigue moon or that or the Relax. Moment. 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 Uh, moment. Uh, 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 rhythm. Rhythm is also very unique. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is according to our. Like that's that the music also which has to yeah. be in keeping with the dance. Yeah. Yeah. Just have the movement. Yeah. So we kind of sat along with the musicians, heard the and song. It, it's a and very a unique that does sound very existing. He, he meets best because the production. Mm -hmm. right. We need to do it because our art is so uh, beautiful and there is so much of resources for its expansion. It, it is, is not, not stagnant. stagnant. It is not, it's not at all stagnant. stagnant. As I have already said in my, my book, uh, Dancer on Dance, I said our traditions are a flowing river like Ganga, not a stagnant pond. Mm -hmm. So we have to evolve new things. Even Bharata's Nati Shastra, he has said that Sayam Vitarche Kartavyam Nati Shastram Budaihi. The intelligent uh, teachers of this dance 
this tradition must evolve new things. That's what Bharata himself yes. says. So it's nothing that uh, we are going out of the way. We are trying to build on our tradition so that the other community, the international community can come closer. Very beginning when I uh, started studying, I realized that a Kathak has so much, you know. It's a Kathak, is a temple dance. You know, Katha means a story, telling a story. Dance is an excellent therapy. Person who dances, even not to become a five-star dancer, but to dance, to enjoy, to understand the body, not to shun it, but to be aware of this beautiful thing that nature gave, within which resides the spirit. To see this as a temple, to respect it, to love it, to feel it, to be with it, as I say to many dancers mm -hmm. here, you remember the yes. workshop, that you, you have a home, but you don't live in it. Right. So, the minute you begin to live in it, that in itself becomes the therapy. Also for physically handicapped, mentally handicapped, because dance is all about rhythm. Mm -hmm. Not just uh, what you call taal, yeah. but the rhythm of movement, the rhythm of being, the total alignment of outer and inner forces. And that, that cures, that is curative.